Hello friends, so let us talk about the processing and the networks. So what actually this term means by it is about the net computers that runs an interactive program will process in the order of 100 million instructions per second. So it sounds a lot and yet like a memory it will soon be used up. So what happens is calculation, uh, later this calculation showed that the program would have talked more about than the known age of the universe to complete. So it's kind of a riddle question like what I'm talking about. Now suppose if you draw a line, you press down the mouse button at one end, drag the mouse button and release the mouse button at the other end. But it's not too quickly. Because your hand eye coordinations are there, it delay for a fraction to think what type of line it's horizontal or vertical or uh, backward slash forward slash what type of line you want to draw and so on. So this is processing of your brain. So let us see what actually uh, the computer does. So for activities involving the using hand eye coordination, it delays even a fraction of second, which is disturbing because. One second is very important in the in field of animations, in field of multimedia because every second the video is coming up, you have to collage the video, suppose you want to broadcast a video, so every second is important without the delay. Now let us talk about in detail how it works. Um, effects of finite processor speed. So speed of processing can seriously affect the user interface. Now how speed is affecting? Now, when I'm interacting with the uh, with the system and my speed, uh, the way uh, the interaction is done, the speed is very slow, pretty slow, and uh, it's giving me an irritation, it's causing me an irritation because I couldn't able to think what the next questions or what the next I have to do, what is the next task I'm going supposed to do. This affects this effects must be taken into account while designing into the system. So when, uh, if we saw one example like the functional fault is the program did the wrong thing. The system is supposed to draw a line from where the mouse button is pressed to release. But the program gets it wrong. After releasing the button down, it does not check the position of the mouse fast enough. So what happens is a second fault is due to the slow processing. And the program does not have a right but the feedback is too slow leading to a strange effect at the interface so this is some kind of the system buffer the user inputs to avoid the fault it remembers the key press and the mouse button and the movement the three action like key presses mouse button and the movement but it does not solve the problem on its own it has like cursor tracking which helps like a character based text editors then it also has a similar then again the problem will come like a similar problem of icon so well, the user clicks the mouse on menu or icon and nothing happens for some reason the machine is busy or the slow so the speed of the machine is also one of the factor which affects your processing speed because later this speed the retrieval of our output generations of the output or the result is shown it it has uh, it may be delayed or it may not be so slow responses can cause problem for the user it is not obvious but it should be always be aim of the system to make it fast even if our processor or any other hardware issue is there it has to be resolved and make sure that our hardware is compatible with our interactive system with our, our software so at the time the uh, uh, suppose the, there are ex exceptions to this, the user must not a must be able to read and understand the output of the system. But the machine, the demo was written was very clearly slower than the author machine. So what happens is that even if I give you an example like it's the processor is very slow or hardware issue, you will uh, you will just say or you will comment like this is not the excuse given when the or when the uh, user is interface with the system, you actually when the you officially when the user interface with the system, your speed, your amount of speed should be good. Your interactive way, your display, your icon should be arranged in a very good way, in a, a better manner. I must say. So this these things you should be working on, like to improve the performance every time. Then 
next is the limitations of the interactive system now there are the limitations several factors like uh, computational bound so this is a uh, computational bound is like a rare, rare interactive program but possible for example when use of find and replace in large document when we use a word system when we document now you will soon document your project so in case if there is a word and you want to replace it so what you will do you will go for find and replace uh, word thing uh, and you will research and you will just set the word and replace them by another word correct but for every long but it will take few seconds because the system should be designed that long delay should not be it should be avoidable it's not in the middle of interaction and so a long process try to give an indication of duration before it starts so during processing an indication of the stage the processor process has reached its health goal so this can be achieved by having a counter or slow filling bar on the screen that indicates the amount done or by changing the cursor to indicate the processing is occurring then you have a storage channel bound now what happens in this that the in, in, uh, there is a plenty of raw computation power and the system is held up by memory so like compressed data it takes a large space to store and fast to read but sometimes when your data is scattered everywhere it takes your data to retrieve the data and to output the data it takes a few seconds so that the delay is occurred so when decompression is done for compression and decompression it takes few seconds to retrieve your data and uh, display it so many interactive system has the ability to browse quickly and which is very important then you have a graphics bound so for more modern interfaces the most uh, common bottleneck is it's like it is a bottleneck i mean it's a difficulty so it this is used to underestimate the time taken to perform what appears to be a simple uh, interface operation so sometimes a clever coding if an intelligent coding can also reduce the time taken by a common graphic operations so and nowadays there are graphics cards are available for uh, for multimedia for animation so the, if this happens to in a installed on your computer on a system so it's nothing better than this because it helps to smoothly run those animation but if you don't have because the image is loading and unloading takes a lot of time then you have network computer network computing means computer system is computer system today has been used nowadays are so powerful than they are using earlier so this uh, that means they have a high performance interaction without recourse so this brings added benefits in allowing, allowing communications between different parties so one of the biggest changes is about the lan so what is lan it can be it is it can be a wireless lan or it can be wired lan it depends so if it's on this on uh, uh, on society is at large can be speculated upon at present so major already major effect on computer purchase perhaps is a personal computation point so um, as more and more people buy computer principally to connect to the internet has that computer network computer arises so that can be a, a wi-fi is provided or a lan a card is provided it's, it's inserted so that is network bounded so it helps for your networking to connect up to the network so such network systems have an effect on interactive interactivity and it helps to addition to a except of peripherals or information uh, resources so another thing between human and machine becomes an open loop rather than the close and many people may be interacting with the machine at once and the actions may affect the response to their own then okay uh, we finish with the processing and the networks later we'll start with a new topic